Hi kids, today I'm in the old city of Ephesus, the part of the city that was there 2,000 years ago when Paul the Apostle lived there. You can see behind me ruins of buildings. The whole building isn't there, only part of the building. And so today, even to this day, you can go and you can walk among the ruins of the places that once were there in Bible days. Another thing that was in Ephesus back in those days, a great big city in those days, was a craftsman who worked with silver. And he would use heat and a hammer to make some beautiful things out of silver. The sad thing is he mostly spent his time making idols, which of course isn't good because people need to worship the true God and not false gods. Let's watch this story and see what happened. Paul had spent over two years in the city of Ephesus telling people that Jesus is the way to God. The new Christians became known as followers of the way. The temple of the Greek goddess Artemis was in Ephesus. People from all over came to worship Artemis there. A man named Demetrius was a silversmith. He made beautiful things out of silver, but mostly he made idols of Artemis to sell to those who worshipped the false goddess. When Demetrius heard what Paul was saying and doing, he gathered people around him and said, You know that our wealth comes from selling things about Artemis, but Paul is saying that handmade gods aren't really gods at all. I'm worried that people will stop coming to the temple. The men who heard this got very angry and began shouting, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians! Great is Artemis of the Ephesians! An angry mob of people rushed towards the amphitheater a large round stadium in the city that could hold as many as 25,000 people. They dragged two of Paul's friends into the amphitheater with them. When Paul heard about this, he wanted to go to the amphitheater, but the other believers wouldn't let him. They begged him not to risk his life and to stay away. Inside, the people were all shouting. Everything was confusing, and many people didn't even know why they were there in the first place. One man tried to quiet them down, but when the crowd realized he was Jewish like Paul, they yelled, Great is Artemis of Ephesus! Great is Artemis of Ephesus! They chanted that for two hours. Finally, a city leader was able to get them quiet. Citizens of Ephesus, he said, everyone knows Ephesus is where the temple of the great Artemis is, whose image fell from the sky. Stay calm! You have brought these men here, but they have not spoken against our goddess. If Demetrius has anything against them, he should take them to court. The Roman government could charge Ephesus for rioting without a good reason, and if Rome demands an explanation, we won't know what to say. The leader told them to go home, and they did. Then Paul left for the city of Macedonia, because he knew God wanted him to go there and tell more people about Jesus. Well, as you can see, it isn't always easy to stand up for Jesus, especially in places where people don't want to hear about him. But Paul and the other Christians were faithful to Jesus. They stood up, they talked about him, they shared his love as much as they possibly could, and God blessed them, and many more people became Christians. I hope that you have a wonderful week this week.